Hi, I'm Nicole Gu. I'm an illustrator and cartoonist from LA. You might know me from such books as Buck Off Squad, DC's Shadow of the Batgirl, uh, Our Eyes Are Nominated, Everyone is Tulip, and my new book that comes out in 2022, Forest Hills Bootleg Society. But I'm not here to talk to you about any of these. I'm here because I have a new book coming out from Avery Hill. The book is called Pet Peeves and it's a very personal story for me. It's about uh, Bobby who is a floundering 20 something, just graduated from college and is feeling totally lost. Um, she's a musician, she can't figure out how or why to invest in her art and get the exposure that she needs. And so she lets um, some things in her life sort of drag her into places that maybe she shouldn't be going. Throughout the book, Bobby makes decision after decision that is gonna affect the course of her life and until you read it, you won't know what direction she's going. I made this book in between a couple of really large projects. I had just finished uh, Shadow of the Batgirl and I was working on Everyone is Tulip and I really needed something that was personal and just for me to focus on and um, something a little different because I've been doing digital work for a long time. My professional work, it just makes it much faster and easier. So this book is drawn in a slightly different style. It's a little bit more loose and it's all traditional inks uh, with just a single spot color uh, to emphasize the drama of the story. So it's a story I really felt like I needed to tell, maybe just for my own catharsis, but hopefully for yours too. And so I hope that you can find something in it that speaks to you um, and that you enjoy the book. Thanks. Hi, I'm Briggs, the creator of this adaptation of Macbeth. Why Macbeth? Because it has all the best things. Witchcraft, Scotland, a tyrannical head of state getting deposed, and to do my 13-year-old self proud, the theater nerd obsessed with Shakespeare, trapped in the suburbs, and yearning to play Lady Macbeth on some prestigious stage. So yes, those are self-portraits except my hair isn't nearly as long. This project started way back in the before times of 2015, when I saw a call for entries to the inaugural Graphic Shakespeare Award. I started at the beginning, and my Act 1, Scene 1, was co-winner of the first ever Elsinore Award. The project simmered in the background as my life, and all our lives, changed dramatically. Something to come back to and escape from current events by diving headfirst into medieval illuminated manuscripts and visions of retribution and expressions of the madness we seem to be collectively witnessing and surviving. And they still ring true, the lessons offered in between foggy mirrors and branch-covered armies. Be this the whetstone of your sword. Let grief convert to anger. Blunt not the heart. Enrage it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for checking it out. I'm Elise Weaver. I'm a comic artist and I'm an illustrator. I've got a new book coming out and it's called Big Ugly. Sibling love is this really sweet and precious thing, but it's also really brutal. When you're a kid and you're trying to figure out what you can and can't do, it's often your sibling who feels the force of that. I remember going to friends' houses and witnessing some of the most blood-curdling sibling fights. And then I'd go home and I'd also talk to my brother. I saw one sibling fight where one sister picked up an orange carton and located like the sharpest side and then held her sister's head against the radiator and started whacking her with it. 
and just like I just remember like the look in her eye when she found like the corner part and she was like yes that's the part I'm gonna use to beat my sister now but when you're an adult you just can't do that anymore so in between the time when you're beating each other with juice cartons and finding your first grey hair there's a period where you have to navigate and rework your sibling relationship like you have to find the new more peaceful ground I think Big Ugly is a bit like that. It's kind of like a post coming of age drama, comedy, family, soup, throw up, comic. Matt and Mao are kind of in this time where they're both a little bit stuck and trying to move forward. But I think what happens when you're stuck and you're also stuck with someone who is also stuck, you have this habit of keeping each other in that space. It's my first longer story which kind of zooms in on one person's life. I've really tried to use my voice as an illustrator and as a comic writer and create something that could exist in both worlds. I really, uh, I love like beautiful books, but I also really like like juicy storylines and I hoped to create something that could kind of sit somewhere in between those.